My name is Michael Toth, Manager of Enterprise Customer Success at JotForm, and today we're going to explore a HIPAA-enabled server, and we'll see what that looks like in a JotForm enterprise environment. Let's jump in. So when you log into a HIPAA server, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner next to where your um, organizational logo would be, you'll see the HIPAA compliance badge. That again lets you know that you are in a SOC 2 HIPAA compliant environment. If we take a look at the form builder, the primary and biggest difference is going to be any field I add to the form, I can now mark as PHI. Doing so makes that a protected field, and it prevents the data from being exposed in notification or autoresponder emails. And it also allows you to then add a HIPAA compliance badge to the bottom of your form. We'll take a look in the settings in a second of how you can go ahead and do so. One thing to note is you can turn off PHI on any field. <clears throat> so if I want to be able to send an email or use one of these email addresses and maybe uh, uh, the recipient of an autoresponder email, I'll need to make sure that I turn off PHI for that email field. But again, this can vary on a field-by-field -field basis. In the form settings, if I go to the very end, <laughs> I have the option to show my HIPAA compliant badge on my form. When I then view that form, it just gives your uh, submitters a level of comfort and uh, security knowing that they're submitting a HIPAA compliant form and their data is protected. Another difference with our HIPAA compliant servers is going to be the integrations that are available. Because that data is secure, we want to make sure that the information being sent to the third party is protected. Therefore, you're only going to have HIPAA compliant uh, integrations available to you. This still includes the Google Suite, Salesforce, um, Slack, uh, various other CRMs like Zoho. So you have plenty of options still available to you, and you know that those are HIPAA compliant integrations, so your data is secure in transit to that third party. If you create a workflow on a HIPAA server, one important thing to note is that to be an approver in the HIPAA environment, you'll need to be one of the licensed users on the server. So I'm not able to use an email address, some type of dynamic value, or make a non-user an approver because there's no option to disable login. You have to log into the server in order to make that approval. If we jump into the tables, as soon as the table loads, You'll notice that there's this message that says your entries are decrypted successfully. That's because on a HIPAA server, your submissions are encrypted end to end and also at rest. Uh, so your data is secure and encrypted while sitting in the server. All right, that concludes our demo. For more information about JotForm Enterprise or to contact our sales team, feel free to visit jotform.com backslash enterprise. If you're currently using our enterprise platform, please keep in mind that you can contact your dedicated support team with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.